Hey everybody, Ikeman here, back with another episode of Hand of Fate. Alright, we're gonna hop right on in. Defeat the rats. That sounds gross. Alright, Jack of Plague. Well, that, uh... Twice the fail. The player loses 5 gold for every fail and 10 gold for every huge failure chance card. Ew. All right. Ah, the rats. They have swarmed up from the dark places beneath the realms of humanity and now squat amongst your cities and feast and shriek and hunt and writhe. It's Our gross, Lord dude. Plague does like to rub your nose in misfortune. All right, straight path. I know where I need to go. Number town hero. You come across an injured adventurer whose battered and bloodied armor tells you he's seen combat recently. I'm going to ask him his troubles. I've been chasing a pack of thieves that attacked my home village of Embertown. I killed some of them in an ambush, but I fear I lack the strength to chase the rest down. If you have any honor, you will find those jackals and make them pay. Obviously. Okay, well. We know where we're headed. River. Running water protects against many things in this. Generally, though, it's just a pain to get past. Well, we apparently have to attempt to cross the river. Ooh, that does not seem good. Choose from these options. Hey, okay. Your light armor makes the crossing relatively easy. Reach the other side, cold and wet, but unharmed. Okay, so I guess I didn't get the token. Here's the Ember Town hero. Caught up with the Embertown village raiders who call out, Stay your hand, adventurer, and we will share the spoils with you. Well, I mean, obviously I'm going to deal with the thieving scum. Tell them to ask their gods for mercy, then... For more mercy than you are about to show them. Reading is difficult. One monster card. It is a two of dust. Uh, bandits are more powerful this time around, so... Should be interesting. I have a shield and an axe now. It's not a rusty axe. You, uh, you were able to hit me rather quickly there. Alright. Went well enough. Carefully turn out the thieves' pockets. Gain three cards. Five food. Excellent. An equipment card. Damocles. Awesome. For and mercy for none. Alrighty. Now we get the token. And we hitch a ride. I'm sure you'll leave this one in time. You do not seem to have the temperament for friends, even in the animal kingdom. You can always review your cards. Oh, here. there it is. I was wondering what Damocles was. Press right bumper to throw knives in the cardinal directions. Alrighty. I was thinking that's what it was, but I couldn't remember. We'll head over here. Forest escape. Roaming ever forward, hunting for the truth. Your path forwards will take you into the forest. No, I don't want to exit this area. I want to keep exploring. Let's head north. Oh, it's goblins. Fantastic. Goblin. I do love goblins. Three of them. Truly, 
I haven't seen and a that two of skulls. Years. Well, that's excellent. That's unfortunate. Suppose we'll be taking care of the skeletons first. Although I don't really want the goblins to be able to escape. All right, so you're. Oh, I thought you were dead. I was wrong. All right, well, you're dead. Hacky Molly's down. Uh, that was a terrible shot. Alright, well, he's dead. Yeah, don't laugh at me. I'm gonna pwn your face now. I mean, I was gonna pwn your face anyway, but the fact that you laughed at me just makes me more likely to pwn your face. Don't do that. Alright, well that was unfortunate. Let's go down. Traveling jeweler. Well, let's see what you have for me. You apparently have much to offer me. I hope so. I don't have enough for that. I don't have enough for any of that. Whenever the player receives healing, they also gain plus one gold. That's interesting. Uh, what was that? Consuming shame. All weapon attacks are enhanced with the power of poison that taints the victim's mind and body. Wouldn't mind having that. I don't think I've got any items to sell other than Damocles, which I don't want to sell. Yeah, let's go ahead and buy three food. Why not? Yep, let's leave, and we will explore the last area before we head on out of here. Oh, look, it's Mr. Lionel. I've already got a shield, so... Get three food for it, so... Okay. Expedition. Press on. Alrighty. On to the next area. To play the game. Ha. And you will not tell me. Like all the rest, you are silent. Two monster cards. A three of dust and a two of skulls. Bandits and undead working together. How unfortunate. Just uh, deflect that back at you, bro. Throw daggers at me? That's just rude. Um. Okay. I just uh, pierced my arm through him or something, I guess. Go sneak up and kill them, of course. Equipment card, which is a healer's ring. Well, I suppose I will. A recipe for a happy life. I doubt things will end that way, my dear. Food and health. All right. Well, we got some gold off of that. It's the maiden. I'm going to ask for supplies as usual. Get some more food. Hopefully, that will carry me through. Devil's Carnival. At its heart. These traveling shows are but mockeries of the true mysteries. Let us stake a token on their foolishness. One day, just as dusk gathers, you reach a large country town hosting a traveling circus. 
Strange sights and stranger smells confront you as you begin to wander between tents and stalls that were once brightly colored but now are faded and stained with dust. Peasants and nobles alike wander the streets and alleys past wonders and amazement seeming almost dazed. There's something about the place that dulls your senses and for a while you forget your quest, forget even the path that brought you to this place. I think it was this one. Yes! Cheers and gasps draw you to a large tent. Inside you discover a number of spectacles being performed by costumed artists. Oh, I have to do it again. Ah, well, we got the success rather than a huge success. I'm okay with that. A strong man offers a magical item as a prize for anyone who can lift even half of what he can. You take the challenge and, after a brief but intense effort, accept the prize. One equipment card, <laughs> and it's a shield, of course. Are you sure that's the right approach? Sometime later, you find yourself standing at the edge of a forest, the sounds of the crowds behind you. Day is just dawning, but which day? Looking back, you see the ruined buildings of a country town long ago abandoned. Alright, so I didn't get the token for that. It's a shop. I don't have any reason to go to it. I only have two gold. We shall continue on to the next area. One more step down, and we may see the end of this, or another set of stairs. Oh, Hush. yeah. Can you hear the way his claws scratch the tiles? An angry mob. So quick to anger. That's what makes them a mob, really. As you approach the small town of Witchburn, <laughs> an angry mob of peasants marches forth and confronts you. The Radmen have eaten all of our food. We're starving. We demand food. Um, I mean, let's give them half their food. You offer to share half of your food with the peasants. They gather around to see your offering. Haven't you got any more? Asks one of the peasants. This is something, but we've got to ration it out to everyone. You leave the simple folks to their troubles. Okay. A winding An trail. Ambush. Hardly fair, is it? Okay, well, one monster card. Dust and play. Oh! Oh! Ow. I don't know what plague is yet. I'm assuming that's the rats or whatever. Seven plague enemies. This is going to be quite interesting. The rats leave behind a deadly toxin. Oh, that was a mistake. Oh, I'm poisoned. Why are you poisoning me, bruh? Ow. I stop doing that. That has a lot of really dumb damage right there. That feels awful. Draw a weapon card. Frostfang. Lizardmen are especially susceptible to ice damage, okay? Each hit slows the target with cold. Press left bumper to shoot a cone of ice. Well, that's better than what I have. So there we go. Ratmen hunting. Now you begin to trespass upon the Ratmen's hunting grounds. One monster card. Four of plague. Okay. Shouldn't be too difficult. As long as I... Okay, thank you for letting me know about the weapon's ability. Okay, stop doing that. 
Alright, more damage that I took there. That's unfortunate. At least I didn't get poisoned, though. You sigh as you search the bodies, finding nothing. If only there were another way to stop this plague of ratmen. Pay someone to take care of it, perhaps. <laughs> well, let's go left here. It's an Once angry mob. The men begin to creep towards the edge of the town. Anger follows shortly behind. I'm gonna try to avoid the crowd. Uh, yeah, let's slow them down. Waves of magical cold sweep over the crowd as you unleash your thurgy. Stunned and freezing, the peasants can do little more than watch your rapidly retreating form. All right, well, let's go up then. Oh, it's Jack and Plague already. Plague and pestilence and blood and teeth. Faster and stronger than normal radmen, this beast inspires all vermin around him to strike faster the more damage he sustains. I will happily wager on the outcome. I do not think you have what it takes. Well, you think wrong, because I'm totally going to pwn this fool. Okay, so four rats plus him. Okay, that that's unfortunate. Okay, stop stop doing that. Okay, roll out of the way. Thank you. Get away. Get out of the way of that. <laughs> I, uh, I rolled into it. Alright, well this is... Okay, that was actually a little closer than I would have liked. Must get better with rolls. The queens and kings of the rat kind have lost a child here today. It sounds like they may be a little upset. Ring of Justice? Warning signs. Berserker armor, scorching zeal, calling the radmen, king of dust, and an old graveyard. Radmen hunting, radmen hunting, radmen hunting, and mage's tower. Well, okay then. Come play. I do not want to just sit here. Look at the cards you have earned. Now we have enough to begin a real game. Are you done talking? Because I'm trying to do my outro here. Alright, thank you. Alrighty guys, that'll do it for this episode. Next time we will continue on further. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Join me next time as we go further into the hand of fate. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great, wonderful, fantastic day.